Today I'm going to show you around and take you for a drive in our Citroen C3 uh, 1.2 Picasso PureTech. I think it's an edition. Um, but first I want to tell you about, um, we, we've just reached 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, which you probably think, well, <laughs> a big deal, so what? But if you're going to buy a car off us, it probably means a lot to you, certainly in the future. This car has come off one of our YouTube subscribers. Uh, his auntie was giving up drivers and they just wanted to sell it. They rang me for some advice, or live chatted me for some advice, and we ended up doing a deal and bringing it in. And it's a, it's a really beautiful car. Now, it's a good deal in as far as when we buy cars, we have to, um, well, we don't often go to the auction, but we use traders and, and we pay them commission. So we've given slightly more than this for this than it, it, we should have done but probably still less than it would have cost us if we'd bought it uh, from a trader or an auction. So everybody wins. Plus the fact is that we're selling more and more cars through YouTube as well. So if we do that, YouTube costs us nothing, whereas uh, advertising with the, with the normal platforms, it probably costs £100 a week at least to advertise a, a car. So that's the reason you should be interested in our YouTube success. And uh, if you are, please like and subscribe. And we'll keep you up to date with our cars uh, and what's for sale and what's coming in the future. Now, I'll just tell you a little bit about this one. It's a Citroen C3 Picasso 1.2 PureTech Edition. It's the five door, it's a 1200cc obviously. 2016 on a 66 plate and it's one owner from new with uh, very low mileage, 6,573 miles. And in those 6,573 miles, it's had three services at the main dealer. You just don't get cars like this. The fuel economy. Urban is 44.1. Extra-urban is 67.3. Combined is 56.5. Nought to 60 time of 11.8 seconds. A top speed of 116 miles per hour. Out of a 110 brake horsepower, 12 valve three cylinder engine. So I'll just show you around it. On the front here we've got the nice chrome Citroen grille, um, chrome surrounds headlamps and also the the front fogs there. Really beautiful car, this kind of wrap round windscreen here so you can see all, uh, you've got a great view. The A pillar there which normally uh, obstructs quite a, a wide angle the closer you sit to the, the steering wheel the less you can see going out at a 45 degree angle. So that makes it really good. It's a good all round view. And um, we've got the black door mirrors, the roof bars here, the black window surround, matte black kind of uh, vinyl wrap there. Door protectors, multi-spoke alloy wheels. It, it, it's just like it's come out of the showroom, this car. It's not been cleaned. This is just as the customer dropped it off um, yesterday. On the back here, we've got rear wash wipe, tinted windows, again the chrome finish on the badges, the addition, the black bumper with reversing sensors, electric boot release which is just under there, a nice flat load area so ideal for dogs or lifting stuff in anyway, split rear seat, rear load cover here, you've also got uh, I have to be careful with this because I've got my finger stuck in here before and I was holding my camera so I couldn't get it out. So there you go, you've got a little uh, sort of underfloor storage there. That's uh, nice and handy. I'll just show you in the back. Plenty of room in the back. Doesn't like it's been sat in, although I suspect it has. And the reason I suspect it the reason I suspect it has is um, the child locks were on. Now it could be that, or it could be that the person we bought it off, who, who does watch us on YouTube all the time, set it as a trap. Um, now, it doesn't look like you got me here, but I've got to tell you, you did before. I was stuck in the back here, both doors were locked, and I had to lean over to let myself out. So uh, if that was your plan, good one. Apart from that, we've got, there you go, we just put the headrests up there, plenty of room on the back seat, 
nice and comfortable high back, high headrest for an adult, or you can have them down there for a child. You've also got the Isofix anchor points for uh, child seats to go in the back here. It's, it's a really beautiful car in the back, and you've got here, which unplugs from the roof, another third inertia reel seat belt. So really, really nice car. And that, that's a handy idea as well. The, the buckle is held up by what appears to be a magnet. Um, airbags in the B pillar here. Nice chrome finish on the handles. The, the seats cut out there where your knees would be, so it gives you just that bit of extra room and uh, kind of a, a magazine flap here. Rear over mats. This car is absolutely beautiful. Um, I'll just take you for a ride in it. This is a beautiful little car. You can see there, we've got two keys. One of them's probably never been out of the drawer at home. We've got a proper ignition lock. There we go, and while I remember, let me just see if I can find it. Should have done this before. There we go. So height and reach adjustable steering wheel. There's a, it's belonged to a lady. Um, she's given up driving now. And as I was saying before, her nephew watches on us on YouTube and, and contacted us and we, and we jumped to the chance of buying this. The car is absolutely mint. These cars just don't come up. Um, so if you're watching, you've got a car to sell and it's a nice one. We only buy nice ones. We don't want to fall out with anybody. So if it's a nice one, give us a shout um, or if you can, you can go on GG Cars, go to our part exchange page, uh, put your registration number and mileage and you'll get a rough idea of how much it, it's, uh, it's worth. And there's also a link to We Buy Any Car, just so as you can check that uh, if we do buy it, we're offering you a fair price. Now, when I say cars like this don't come up very often, it's mint. <laughs> The steering wheel looks like it's just come off the transporter. So does all the inside, so does the outside. But this is what I like to see. And it, again, the, uh, the lad watches us, watches our YouTube. One thing that winds me up is service books not being stamped. The first thing he said when he came in is the service books stamped <laughs> and the stamps are in the right position and it, they've all got dates on. So he'd already checked. He obviously didn't want to listen to me moan again at his expense. So right, here we go. We're in the, we're in the light there. So 28th and 9th, 2017 at 2,472 miles, Robins and Day. And then 17th to 10th, 2018, 4,987, again, Robins and Day. Over the page here. 3rd of September 2019, 6,423 miles, Robins and Day, Liverpool, full, full history. Um, and it's only done 6,582 miles now. Uh, th this car is a bargain, but when I was saying about uh, YouTube before and having 10,000 subscribers, well, you've, no you've no idea um, how fantastic it feels for 10,000 people to subscribe and for 500,000 people to be watching your videos every, every month. It's a massive thing to me, but what's also massive is that we can pay the customers back. I'll, I'll, I'll set off driving here so at least you get an idea of, uh, while you're listening to me. We can pay the customers back. And the reason we can pay the customers back is because, as I said before, our auto trader billet about 12 months ago was somewhere near four thousand pound three and a half to four thousand pound i think and because we're kind of semi-retiring or training we, we're too busy we can't get enough cars enough nice cars to sell we don't want to work any harder or any longer hours than we already do so we decided to go the opposite way and slow down everybody else is trying to get bigger we're, we're trying to slow down now, we've cut our auto trader spend down, and I'm auto trader's biggest advocate. Don't get me wrong, auto trader I think are fantastic. They bring us customers from all over the country and even abroad. So we've, we've had customers as far as Australia, New Zealand, and Kazakhstan. Somebody came from Gibraltar a few weeks ago. So that, that's absolutely fantastic. However, 
when we're on Autotrader, it means we're competing with other people. Other people aren't, and other dealers, and other privates aren't necessarily as honest as we are. Uh, so we only like to sell good cars. Some people will sell anything, um, what I would call auction fodder. And in, in, to be fair, in other cases, scrapyard fodder. There's cars coming back on the road that write offs. Um, Auto Trader now has a relevance search. Unfortunately, we're not doing very well in that relevance search. I don't know why we're trying to, we try to make our adverts as best as possible, uh, do as many pictures and a, and a proper video, and only sell good cars with proper service history. But for instance, we've got the cleanest Jaguar in the world, <laughs> or nearly, and perhaps a bit of an exaggeration. But as far as relevance goes, it's not showing up. I think it's on page two or three and some cars before us are write-offs. Now, how can that be relevant? So the, the point is that we are competing with people who are selling write-offs and they're coming before us, sadly. On YouTube, we've had phone calls where uh, as soon as I put a video out, we get uh, regular followers and some of them are, have been looking for a car for ages and waiting for one to come in. And as soon as you put the video out, the phone goes, and we, we've sold the car before we've even advertised it. Now, if we can do that in future, not only if we buy cars off you, we can give you a better price than you'd get anywhere else. We'd, as I say, we're not greedy. We'd, we're trying to retire. Um, we can buy better cars to sell again. And because there's no advertising costs, because there's no middleman costs of us uh, paying traders, or, or commissions or so on we can afford to sell the cars cheaper no advertising cost no other middlemen fees uh, and we can sell proper cars really really good ones like this at the same price as other people are selling also runs so please bear that in mind please like and subscribe we've also got an affiliates page with voucher codes talk about a weaver bird there so Oh dear, she's too busy dancing, I think, to... Uh, I'm not sure where the safest place is to be here with this lady in front. I think she's probably the world's worst driver. Anyway, back to the car. So... Uh, cars min, six and a half thousand miles. She is the world's worst driver. It has reversing sensors, alloy wheels. It's beautiful inside, has these built up seats, the brushed aluminium door handles and gear surround. Also got the trims here. You've got this kind of checker plate inset to the dash. Everything is just like it. As I say, I, I've sold new cars uh, throughout lots a long period of my sales career and uh, th this is just like brand new just like absolute brand new drives like new it's got the the little buzz from the three-cylinder engine which is uh, which is quite good it's half a v6 um, we've got CD radio, it's got Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth hands-free. We've also got audio streaming, Bluetooth audio streaming, so anything on your phone you can listen to through the radio. It's a good sound system. It's a nice thick steering wheel here, well padded. And you've got the perforated leather here, which finishes it off. Also the brushed aluminum effect, which, which matches all the other trends. It's got contrast black bumpers, front and rear, nice chrome finish on the grille, around the headlights, around the fog lights, the rear lights. It's, it's a lovely looking car. And um, oh, it's, it's also got power folding mirrors. I don't think it'll work. Just a, oh, 
normally they don't work when you're doing 68 mile an hour but there you go so power folding door mirrors knock them across and you can also there you go he wasn't going to let me out no matter what happened <laughs> fellow Citroen driver there and Citroens are such good cars now the the old one of my uh, top performing videos is one of the old Citroen C3 Picasso um, quite the old one now I used to love them they used to sell great the only thing with them is that the indicator stock used to go and it was 183 quid and then about two hours to fit it you would take the steering wheel off so although they were great cars sometimes they used to cost you a bit but touch wood or brushed aluminium we have very few problems with these new Citroëns uh, probably less than we have with BMWs and Mercedes-Benz and uh, perhaps you'll think that's an exaggeration but honestly we they're great sellers we we love them um, and, I, and I can thoroughly recommend this vehicle you've, you've got different things like uh, there you go a little cubby hole there we've got two cup holders here two power sockets I mean to be fair they think of everything and I do like this I do like this idea the the nice front end it's uh, good visibility all around it's really really super oh actually we, of course I forgot that on the on the right hand side here we've got audio controls I think it is although that's switched off and on the left big problem with cars these days for reasons best known to themselves designers like to hide the most fiddly controls and how to use controls behind the quarter to three position so when we pull up here if the lights don't turn to green I'll, I'll show you this control down here ah there we go so we turn that that's the speed limiter we turn there's a thumb wheel on this control here turn it down it's a speed limiter and you can set the speed limiter I particularly I don't like speed limiters if you do happen to get in trouble and you need to accelerate and you're at the speed limit you can't do anything so I prefer cruise control where you can override it um, I, I honestly I don't know why speed limiters are, are, are a thing they just seem dangerous to me a bit like stop start that's stupid electronic handbrakes all, all that sort of gear right sorry just do that so we've got set there set plus set minus that thumb wheel there that's to uh, switch it on and off and I assume if you click the end that'll be resume this side we've got the audio controls we've got wipers there and indicators on the left a couple of lanes to himself oh yeah yeah brilliant uh, come from the third lane where he should have been going up the motorway we can stay in that lane Citroen power oh now we're going to pull up quickly road rage Baz don't do it just say no so here we go on the on the right hand side here we've got electric windows so there's the um, electric door mirrors flip that over there you go just say nice buzzy sound from the Citroen engine 50 miles an hour there oh, going a bit too fast It's just a lovely car to drive. As I say, you you wouldn't get a better car than this if you bought a new one. We'll give this this. I use this road to check the suspension and just uh, load the front wheels and the steering and. Uh, there's going to be nothing wrong with this so the, the 
lady who it belonged to was absolutely lovely. Her, uh, and, and to be honest, these days with family values, which seem to be going out of the window, her nephew did all the dealing for her. And uh, again, very polite dealing with us. I, we get some people coming in and we, we just, we just, I put the phone down on somebody this morning. I just didn't want to talk to him. Didn't want him as a customer. Didn't want to deal with him anymore. We, we're too busy. We, and, it, and it's mostly not because I'm ignorant and don't like dealing with customers. It's because the way people talk to us. And whereas if you, if you work in a dealership, you've, you've got to swallow your pride and keep trying to deal them. John and myself, we're too old. We're too old to, to put up with any, any crap. And we get lots of people coming in and, you know, we, we don't make the prices up really. We, we, we have a certain scope, but mostly you work towards trader prices, what you can sell them for, and then work backwards these days. In the old days, you had a glasses guide, you looked at it under the desk, that's how much it said. You allowed that money and, uh, and put your markup on. It's all changed now. People are, because we are competing on an auto trader with other people who aren't selling good cars. But because people search cheapest first, then um, your car is on the third or fourth page because it's not the cheapest, it's the best. And there's a saying in the most motor trade, nice cars aren't cheap and cheap cars aren't nice. That's kind of how we work. We were hoping that the auto trader relevance search would work, but at this moment in time, they're obviously tweaking it and it doesn't seem to be working for us. Um, but we, you know, we'll, we'll persevere. But fortunately, we have this um, YouTube market, which I've been working on for 10 years and is finally starting to pay fruit or pay dividends. And uh, let, you know, let, let's just hope it continues. Great car, absolutely nothing wrong with this car. Three services in six and a half thousand miles. I, I also noted on the windscreen there, it's Guard X on the paintwork and so on. No doubt the dealership will have got her to do the interior as well and, and all the other stuff that dealerships do. And, uh, and, and people who are proud of the car, gladly pay for, rightly or wrongly. And uh, so, lovely car. I'm gonna pull up, I'll show you how to pair your mobile uh, delete a mobile and also stream audio and uh, catch you in the next video thanks for watching please remember like and subscribe it means an awful lot to us uh, and, and honestly it, it, I can't believe 10,000 subscribers I, I can't believe it I can't believe 10,000 people would want to watch me drive a car so thanks again thanks very much for that